I've been working, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%, 100%. Let's get straight into it, though, Cavelli, bro. I, I was going to get you on my radio station, yeah? I needed you to do yeah. a freestyle. One of the reasons why you couldn't do a freestyle, I'm not too sure about certain lawful things, but, bro, you explain to me yeah. why you couldn't even do a freestyle on my show, bro. Obviously, I don't know if people are, I don't know if many of my supporters are aware of this, but obviously, I'm on a CBO. Okay. Yeah, I must explain have. what a CBO is. It's, CBO stands for Criminal Behaviour Order. Okay. It's basically a thing that the police issue out um, and basically, if you get a CBO, then there's certain things that you can and cannot do. And obviously, on my CBO, one of those things is I'm not allowed to incite violence in my lyrics, so I'm not allowed to make violent music, you know what I'm saying? Is that, is that, is that because, yeah, whatever the case was involved certain things you actually talked about? What do you mean? For example, certain things like, I don't want to go too much into it, but certain things you yeah. mentioned in your track previously, or you may even mention in your track, is, for example, why you got that CBO? Was it yeah. related to something you may even potentially rap about? No, oh, I can't lie to you. See, because uh, it's long to explain, but when I got issued a CBO, obviously I went to court, but what I went to court for had nothing to do with certain things that were on my CBO. Does that make sense? So okay. obviously the whole, when I'm rapping about these things that I'm not allowed to rap about anymore, that had nothing to do with when I went to what I went court for. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so what's 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 going on with that right now with the CBO and everything, and it, it affecting you your your music and that? How are you dealing with those things? Because you have to like you have to yeah. replan everything, bro. Yeah, bro. I'll be real with you. It's been a little setback, obviously. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll call it. Let me break it down to you. Obviously, when I first got the CBO, I'll be real with you. I didn't even take it seriously, so I was still making violent music. Obviously, tunes like "Welcome to South Facts" and "The Truth" to all of these things were in breach of my CBO. Obviously, I'm yeah. inciting violence in my lyrics, so yeah. I didn't take it seriously. But then, obviously. Later on down the line, I must have got arrested for all of them tracks. Yeah. And obviously, I went. I got remanded for like 19 days, came out on bail, then I went to court for it. So explain then, the arrest. Uh, so what? How does it work? Police come to your house and they do they say they're arresting you specifically because of the, the music? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They come, they say, you're in breach of your CBO. They came, they, I called, they arrested me twice. First, they arrested me for Welcome to South Acton. Then they arrested yeah. me the next time at my yard for the Truth 2 and Rush Hour. And they said, yeah. listen, you're in breach of your CBO. They came, they came to me, they said my government name, they're like, look, you done it again, you get it. You're in breach of your CBO. I'm yeah. like, what? They're like, yeah, the truth to a rush hour. So obviously, after I've gone court now, um, they, I got three months on a GPS tag and a two year yeah. suspended sentence. Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah. So when you're, let's say, okay, you knew you was on a CBO, you knew you couldn't incite violence into your music, you still decided to do it. Why was that though? Do you think, nah, this is light? They're not going to put me back in jail. Because yeah. Of music. yeah. It was literally that. I didn't take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? How long was you in for? I just got reminded for 19 days, then my solicitor applied for bail, then I came out on bail, I was on tag for like, I think maybe a couple, no, maybe like two weeks. Yeah. Then after that, I went court, just, yeah, two years suspended sentence and three months GPS tag. How long is the CBO on for? How long is the duration of it? The CBO ends in, I think, either the end of 2021 or the end of 2022, I'm not sure. Sorry, that's, a, that's a long time. I know, man. That's that's a bit of a long time. With all the music you've recorded, obviously most of it predominantly is drill. Well, what mm. is that? So what? You just you completely changed the sound. Obviously, most of the people have seen you dropped a trailer for your new single that's coming out. So you can talk to me about that. Obviously, I'll be real with you. To me, I'm not one of them artists that can just do drill music. You get? Okay. I feel I feel like I might fall into that category a lot of the time. But obviously, right now I'm trying to show people that cool the CBO is a bit of a setback. It's a bit long to make draw music at the moment, but I can do more, do you get what I'm saying? So, so obviously I'm just trying to show people a different side to my music, do you get? Yeah, no, 100%. So would you say the CBO coming in place was kind of a good thing for you? Not necessarily you say a good that, thing, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I could look at it that way. If, if you want to be positive about it, then yeah, yeah. it's kind of pushed yeah. me to you get me try new things as an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 100%. What's your family's thoughts on this? Because there's a lot of thing a lot of draw people don't even like, like mention. We just see things like, for example, you get posted mm. a lot on, for example, pages like London gang pages and all these yeah, things. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's what your family members might be seeing, your friends <laughs> might be seeing. Like, Kevelli's just a gang member. Like, he's forever going to be a gang member. That's that's kind of the perception that the people kind of get from you. But what is it? Like, how's your family's reception on everything, on the music you make? You even getting a CBO going to prison mm. for music. How does your family take mm. these things in? Well, obviously, for my mum... She didn't really understand it. You get it. obviously she didn't really understand the culture and all these things. Yeah. Even when she came court to them reading out my lyrics in court and they're breaking down what I'm saying, 
my mum's shocked and that you get obviously she's not stupid but she can obviously she knew what I'm on with the drill music but when it's actually when the lyrics actually getting read out to her in court obviously it's shocking to her and she obviously it's one of the first things she's heard like oh, fuck Yo, can you, yeah, yeah, can you see back. me, yeah? Yeah, you're back. No, nah, I, I got a phone call still. But obviously what I was saying is, um, my mum was confused. She didn't know that I could even get in trouble for making music and that, obviously. Yeah. So, bro, she was shocked. I can't lie. Nah, fair. But prior to that, yeah, did she understand, Did she know how well your music was doing, bro? Because you're doing well for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. mum understands still. She does. Yeah, yeah she understands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to us about the new sound, though, man. You introducing it now. What's the reception kind of been like? Obviously, I heard a few exclusives beforehand. What was this? What was the reception like from your brethren, even your mum and other people, man? Mm. Before you kind of ah, put it cool. out there. Obviously, my mum, because obviously this kind of music ain't gonna get me in trouble. My mum's happy to hear it, innit? Yeah. Then with the mandem, to the mandem, I weren't really that much of a shot card, to be honest with you. Even though I make draw music, while well, I've been making draw music, everybody knows me as a draw rapper. I don't really listen to draw music. So when okay. I'm making music that okay. isn't draw music, yeah. my brethren ain't really surprised in it. Just like, yeah, it's, like, it's yeah. kind of like the music you listen to anyway. Yeah, Obviously yeah. from the fans, I've been getting a lot of mixed mixed responses, but majority of them is all positive. I've got a lot of fans telling me, you get me, keep doing what you're doing and that it's, it's good for you to venture out as an artist and try new things. People are yeah. saying they're fucking with it. So <clears throat> you get me. Yeah. Another thing man, I wanted to chat to you about, bro. I remember I linked up in the studio with you and Mizzy, yeah? Yeah. I'm not going to get too much into this. And you spoke about something that you done, do you know what I'm trying to say? And, yeah. and, and it was like, in my head, I was thinking, like, Cavelli, you're doing so well for yourself, yeah? Yeah. How would you draw yourself out to go and do something which can potentially get you back in jail mm. for these things? But your music's, your, bro, you're getting numbers. Do you know what I'm trying mm. to say? Why would you even draw yourself out to it? Like, what's your mindset, like, in, in them stages? Because people say, yeah, you may not understand Selector because you mm. ain't been on road mm. and this and that. I get it. I get it. Don't get me wrong. But I want to know from mm. someone like yourself, bro, who is doing well? Music is a sick way out for yourself. Mm. And then one decision, you may draw yourself out. Luckily, you didn't get caught. Whatever, do you know what I'm trying to mm. say? What, what makes you kind of want to do that? Is it just you're still stuck up in it, like, at the same time? Do you know what it is? You're right, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of people, like, cool. I break it down like this. See, a lot of the time when you're in the middle of everything, like, when your day-to-day life is just pure madness and that yeah you yeah. get it it's kind of hard to like it's, it's weird when you got a, obviously like you said it gets to a stage where you need to separate yourself from all of that madness but yeah. where you're so used to all of the madness and you're kind of caught up in the middle of everything it's hard you get and yeah. obviously sometimes you end up making the wrong decisions and drawing yourself out when you shouldn't yeah. but obviously i guess like over time it's just it's just part of like when you're on your own little journey it's just part of growing up and realizing when you just got to stop doing certain things you got to roll a certain type of way now that you've got different opportunities and you're doing different things you get yeah 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 no i completely get that man i completely get that even just understanding like that i'm like okay, yeah that makes a bit more sense how would you say like for example even you doing music it it taking you away from the street stuff yeah i understand you can go studio and that but for example you're not in the studio 24 7 do you kind of have to like even distance yourself from certain friends just not be in the certain environments like I'm trying to say, yeah. how, yeah, how do you kind of do it? Because a lot of even artists, a lot of draw artists, like even artists in general, bro, like different genres, mm. whatever, they're still they're still up in in the hood. I'm trying to say, I know I have to distance mm. myself from certain friends, otherwise I'm slacking on what I do. So how do you mm. kind of do it yourself? Do you just like isolate yourself to yourself? I'm saying, bro, you know, I'll be I'll, I'll be so real with you. Me yeah. myself, I find it difficult, innit? Obviously, see me. I don't know about other people, but me, I'm one of them people that like. I'm always around them and them. I'm one of them people it's easy to get through to. If something goes on, yeah, I'm always yeah. there. You get If you follow yeah. me, I'm there. So for me personally, I find it hard to do these things. But recently, I think I've been doing kind of well with like keeping myself to myself, car. True say, another thing that's helped is quarantine. So there's not really much going on outside anyway. Yeah. Everybody's at yard. So it kind of gives me the tr- like an opportunity to keep myself to myself and actually be working on what I'm meant to be working on. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But for people out there that are trying to progress and that, you get me the best thing I can say is just stay focused and just like always every day at least do something to like you get me help you help that like, try basically what I'm trying to say is make every day a productive day and at least do something within that every day at least do something every day to bring to help bring you closer to your goals you get and if that has to be separating yourself from from certain niggas and go in certain places where like you'll be on your own and you can work peacefully then do that innit? you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah no then bro that's that's completely it man that's that's 100% it that's why I had to get you down mm. on here bro like this is the first time man's doing this but it's like bro man has to ask p- 
people that has actually done certain things on road, okay. etc., and that are doing music at the same time. For me, it's like the government's here, we're going to stop knife crime, we're going to do all these things. But more time, we don't even chat to people like yourself who are actually doing mm. well in music, but at the same time get caught up in these things. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, of course, yeah, I feel you, bro. Yeah, but let's chat about the music, though, man. Cavelli, yeah. man. Where, where are you going, man? Where do you want to see yourself being? What type of artist? Bro, because West London, there's a lot of popping artists, man. You're mm-hmm. up there. I still feel like Cavelli's here, but the breakthrough mm. is just here. You're not yeah, far yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not far mm. off it. That's why it's like, bro, I always support you as much as I can. Like, it itches mm. me to understand, like, what is going to get Cavelli that breakthrough? And, and what... Do you know what I'm trying to say? But what do you yeah. do you have a plan in place? Do you have some sort of management team that there's a structure in place to get you there? Is it the songs, mm. the choice of music? Like what, what you got in mind? I'll be real with you. I feel like now the music that I'm gonna start putting out in a way it's kinda it's gonna make things easier for me to make that breakthrough you get. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you can blow obviously you can blow off Joe and let people blow off Joe, but at the same time, Joe is kind of harder for certain audiences to digest in it but with the music where i'm trying to switch it up now and be more versatile it's kind of easier for people to it's easier on the air in it obviously yeah. right now the plan i've got i'll be real with you the plan i've got right now i'm putting out the single that i previewed gonna put that out then i'm probably got like two more singles lined up then i'm gonna put out like a five track or six track ep i'm trying to put out that ep by like january times maybe february and then Summer next year, I should have... Obviously, I'll be dropping more singles, but then I should have a tape by then. But what I'm trying to say is hopefully by then, you get me, now that I'm putting out a different kind of music, I can reach different kind of audiences that should, you get me, get my fan base. You get me, I'm getting fans from different places. you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, bro. It's a good set, man. It's a good set to see, man. Like, do you know what is? One, one thing man hates is like when an artist is doing well, especially an artist, like, I have interest in you apart from music. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Man likes yeah, yeah. to know what you're on, just, just to know what, what you're doing. Do you know what I'm trying to say? One thing I hate to see is an artist, I wouldn't say full, but dip. You know how the game is, bro. Yeah, no, come trust me. Every yeah, day. Course. People come every day. I hate to say, oh, where's Cavelli at? Where's Cavelli at? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That's when you dropped that trailer. I was like, yeah, this guy, mm-hmm. all I need to see is that consistency and that breakthrough. Yeah. And it's going to be good. You're talking about the music, obviously, yeah. in regards to like things like studio time, videos and stuff. How How is it for you? Is it financially challenging? Like, like I'm trying to say, is music really paying you quite a bit to, to afford to do these things? How is it? Or is it the support of management and all these things? But obviously, bro, as an artist like yourself, I don't know if you've got in mind to say that like, you're going to go mm. and get a job at nine to five to find your music. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. trying to say, bro? So, so how yeah. is it? These are, these are things people want to know, bro. No, of course not. Obviously, I'm getting paid from the music. Not like, I'm not even going to lie, not mad bread you get. Like, I'm not getting bags and bags of music right now, but I'm getting from certain tracks and that they're doing well on that, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But true, so I've got a management team as well that's been nice. supporting, man. Obviously, they bust me in studio time and that, they've been helping me out. So that's how I'm kind of getting by right now, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, get well, get well, bro. That's, that's, that's what it's about, man. I can't lie, man. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I just had to chop it up with you as quick as possible, man. I'm going to put this out on the YouTube, man. See what see what yeah, the fans are saying, see what the people are saying, yeah. bro. These are, these are things people want to know, man. Trust me, bro. No, but yeah, one thing man's got to say to you, bro. That time when you told me about that thing in studio, I don't think you even remember what we're talking about, you know. It was that Mizzy yeah, Studios. Roughly, it? it was yeah, that bit, yeah, I don't want to yeah. speak too much about it because I know <laughs> listen, I don't want to extend the CBO and that you trust yeah. me. <laughs> but but you know I'm trying to say, I'll probably tell you after, yeah. but it's like, gee, like I'm not even trying to preach this positivity thing. I, mm. I, I am at the same time, but it's like, gee, like you've got a lot of things going for you, bro. Like, mm. I'm not gonna lie from your remarkable, your marketable guy from you know what I'm trying to say. Mm. The music's no, doing well for you, bro. Your, your numbers are there. From when you've dropped your first tune, I was like, right, cool. why would this guy want to necessarily risk it all? So, mm. you know I'm trying to say, every action that you make, it, you know what I'm saying, besides your future, innit? So, bro, just keep keep, keep focused, keep pushing the music, man. And, and that's what man's got to say, man. What you got to no, say bro. for the people, though, man? No, man, obviously, you lot, big up all the supporters, just don't sleep, man. You get it. big things are no. coming this year and next year. You get what I'm saying? Just keep yeah. on at it, man. Nah, that's love, bro. That's love, man. Yeah, but that's it, man. Selector, his favourite interview, Cavelli, the one and only. Trust me, man. It's only right, Come man. On. It's only right, man. Interview the realest guys, man. Like, what's Come really on. going on behind the scenes? You, you told us the truth, bro, man. And that's what it's about, man. That's yeah. Love for having me, bro. Nah, each and every time. I'm going to link up soon, man. Ah, cool. Done, my guy. Take care of yourself. Love. Bye.